What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob doing three Alberta premiums today. I got the batch one, batch two, and batch three. Batch three just got released in Ontario recently. There is a bunch of it, so you won't have too much trouble getting it if you live in Ontario. Batch one was 65.1%. Batch two was 66% on the dot. And batch three is 63.7%. I've tried this already a few times thanks to my buddies uh, that live on the street, Dave and Anthony, but over here, I was supposed to review this one a long time ago. This one actually belongs to Jeremy, the number two. So I reviewed the number one. I'm going to put the score right here. Number two and number three, I'm going to review them today, fresh, but I'm going to keep the one in mind so that I can kind of compare the three and see which one I like the best. So I'm going to start over here with the one. So from what I remember about the one, it was very apricot heavy, which was unusual for a rye. These are all 100% rye. They're all cast strength. A little bit of heat. Some nice chocolate notes that I actually didn't get before with this one. I actually really like that. Um, I really liked it to begin with, 65.1%, like I said. I believe this is the one that Jim Murray said was his whiskey of the year, which obviously had quite a bit of debate around, but it is good stuff. It's got some heat to it. I believe it was right around like 65 bucks, 60 bucks Canadian when the one was released, and it hasn't gone up too much since. I think the new one is $80 on the dot, or maybe $75 something around there. Going on to the two over here, the tasting notes are very similar at the back. Exceptionally smooth with notes of caramel, vanilla, and a hint of chocolate balanced with the spiciness. Chocolate uh, for the first time I got on this one. We'll see if this one also has that. They all say the same thing. So the person bottling this, the master distiller, master blender, whatever they want to call themselves, assumes that the palette is exactly the same for all three. So far on the nose, he's not entirely wrong. This is the two here. Very similar. Maybe a touch less sweet. Obviously this bottle has been open a lot longer, but this bottle has been open for some time too probably almost a year. So not as sweet, a little bit more rye heavy, a little bit hotter as well. A little bit of like a metallic note to this one as well. Going over here to the batch three, which is recently bottled within the last few months. It's a 2021 edition. Lowest in ABV. So the notes are all caramel heavy on the nose with like rye bread, that kind of stuff. These two I'm getting more caramel sweetness on the nose, whereas this one I got a little bit more apricot kind of notes. This one's really sweet. A little bit more viscous as well, it feels like, than the other two. I wonder if they just picked a whole bunch of casks that were 100% rye, put them aside, and every year are just taking from that same batch of casks, which would be interesting because what would happen then is it would continue to get older. So I'm not sure if that's what's happening, but they are all very, very similar in profile. Okay, so this one would be expected to have the least amount of heat to it because of the lower ABV. It is noticeable, which is weird. And this is a neck pour as well. So far, I've had this from two other people's bottles as well and it's 
proved to be the sweetest of the three in my opinion. So that could be a really good thing for some people, maybe not so good for other people. I'm gonna go back through all three and then I'm gonna give two and three a mark. And as I said, you will already know what I gave this one. There is a, a faint taste of apple. Like I get a little bit of apple in all three of these. Yeah, apple common with all three of these. This one is a little sweeter on the palate and on the nose actually. A little bit more caramel forward here. A little bit more distillate forward, rye forward here. Really interesting how different these two are. This one's kind of like a combination of these two. Gonna talk price and age a little bit here. These all taste like they're in and around like the seven year range, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, maybe a combination of both more and less. Um, this one here, I remember getting a sample from the first batch and it was all apricot and I, I couldn't believe how apricot heavy it was. It was incredible. Fast forward to when I actually opened the bottle and the bottle wasn't nearly as apricot heavy. I still get it. Maybe it's because of the power of suggestion and I thought that I would get it from this. I don't get it as much anymore. I get a little bit of apple, um, combination of other things. This one's like very rye heavy. So if you're a big rye guy, I think you're gonna like the batch two the best, in my opinion. 66%, uh, so the highest of the three in ABV. It does taste like it's the highest of the three in ABV. So there's also that. Um, I think for my palate, I'm leaning a little bit more towards the one than the two and a little bit more towards the three than the two. So one last sip of each and then I'm gonna give you a final mark. So the three is really creamy. It's got all like brown sugar sweetness, caramel kind of sweetness, um, not too much fruit going on, maybe the hit, like smallest hint of apple in the background, not much though. Whereas the two here, yeah, the two is hotter. This will be tough to do in a blind tasting because they are all pretty similar. But I wonder, I wonder what would happen not knowing that they're all Alberta premium, if people would be able to distinguish the difference between these. All right, final decision here. I'm gonna rank this one number one. I think this one's the best of the three, but it's definitely got the most going on with the least amount of heat. Then I'm gonna go over here to the three. I think it's sweeter. Then the two, it's less hot than the two. It's still got your nice rye notes, a little bit of apple, all that kind of stuff. The two I feel like is the youngest of the group. Um, so I'm gonna give the three and 87 and I'm gonna give the two and 85. Um, all three are good. All three are worth the price. I think if you can get these between 60 to $80, that's a great buy. Cast strength, rye whiskey, especially for the rye fans out there, you're gonna love it. The batch one, yes, is the best of the three, but the three is very good for like 75, 80 bucks. I think that's definitely a buy, especially considering today's whiskey standards and, and prices. The two was a miss for me, but still, in the grand scheme of things, all three of these are pretty good. Uh, number one would be the one, number two, the three, and number three, the two with an 87 for the three and an 85 for the two. That's it for me guys, I hope you like this video. I hope it helps when you're looking to buy one of these. Overall, I like them. I'll continue to buy batch by batch, see how they go. Uh, 
that's it. All right, guys, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and you can support this channel on Patreon. Cheers.